In this lesson, I want to give you a tour of the Helix framework, just so that you get to see firsthand what it looks like on the back end. So you want to click on the Shaper Resort default. And from here, you can change this name to whatever you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be called that. So if you want to change the name to uh, hotel, I'm just going to change it to hotel template, then you can definitely do that. It's not going to really affect anything. That's just there for, um, for the name. So when you scroll down here, you have the sticky header, you have the favorite con. And what the sticky header, what that means is that as you scroll down, there's nothing there now for you to really see. But as you scroll down, do you want the header, which is the menu part, do you want that to stay the same and doesn't move? If you click on note, when someone is scrolling down, you know, the, the header is not going to be visible or the menu is not going to be visible. And then you have the box layout, which is going to box everything up. And then you scroll down, this is where you can put in the logo type, you can put in the retina of the mobile. And then you scroll down here, you have the footer, which you can change. Uh, as you see right now, it says uh, design by Zoom Shaper. So if you're working for, on, on a project for, you know, for a client, then this is where you can come in, just change and put in uh, your, your name, your company's name, or whatever it is that you want to put there. And then this is where you have the different positions for the social icons for your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and things like that. So that's where you can utilize that. So right now there are no icons there, which we're going to come back and, you know, of course, take a look at that later. I just want to give you a quick tour. Uh, and then you scroll down here. If you want to put some contact information there, you can definitely do so. And then also they have a coming soon uh, section here. So next tab that we have is the presets. This template has several, uh, has four different presets. You notice that the color for each one is different. So if you don't like this color, you want to change it to this one or to this one or that one, you can click and choose whichever one that you want. And then just go at the bottom, you have some styling options. It allows you to change the background color, the text color, and the major color, which is this major color right there. You can change that to whatever color you want. So when you click here, you just use this to drag to the position. Uh, or if you have another hex code from somewhere else that you want to replicate that, uh, let's say you've been, you looked at another website and you love the color of their head or whatever, you can just copy the hex code from there and then you just paste it here and it's going to automatically change um, for you. So next you want to go over to the layout and the layout, this utilizes the, the scaffolding or to the bootstrap um, system. It's a grid system that allows you to put uh, different items in a specific space or in a lot of space. And the idea of this is that think of it as you have from one to 12 and you can create as many different columns within that range, but the total number has to be 12. So whether it's like seven and five or eight and four or whatever combination that you have, then that has to total to the number 12. So as you look here, uh, then it has this. You can click on this here. You can change the position for that. And, you know, once again, I'm just gonna get this like a really, you know, a quick overview for this, um, just so you kind of get familiar with, you know, how the, how things are on the back end. And you can also drag and drop. So you want to drag things, you can drag this down, and you can move it up. You can put it, you know, in different uh, places here. And you have the settings. You can remove the row. You can add columns. And as I mentioned before, when you put your mouse over the columns here, you notice that you have uh, 12, which is the maximum length. You can't have anything more than 12. So you can have like a 13 or 14. 12 is the, is the, uh, the largest number that it'll let you go up to. So when you put this here, you have 66, you have 444, 333, 48, 39, 363. So it gives you different ways for you to, to, to um organize the page and this is really great because there are times when you you have you want to have let's say on the page you want to have a section that has a big video and then two sections with like banner ads or just some graphics some text on there then with the framework allows you to kind of move things around and uh, I'm gonna you know work in a course later that is going to show you a lot of extensive detail to organize and really get you know familiar with the, the framework and then you have the menu here this is where you choose which menu is going to be shown on the front end uh, of the site. And you have the menu type, we said mega menu and off canvas. So when you click on this here right now, if you click on this 
you see this the off canvas but there's nothing there right now so that's why it's blank you can add different items other menu items on this uh little icon you click on here but since there's nothing there it's just going to be blank you can also change that from just being a mega menu or you can change it from an off canvas so you can pretty much pick and choose which one that you want uh, so for now i'm just going to put this as just a mega menu and you can choose the drop width drop down width and animation and you go to typography this is a different fonts that's been utilized you can change the fonts you can change the weight you can change the style the size and then you go to custom coding and this is where if you if you want to see you install like a chat or some javascripts from you know a site you just put you know put that in the respective places and then you have to advance uh, and then you have the blog which i'm you know probably go over this later and the update settings you have assignments this is where you can assign this template uh, to different pages all right so that's pretty much just a quick overview of the framework once again I have you know a course that's coming out that's going to give you a lot more details and we're going to break down each section but now you should be pretty familiar with how things are and then once you're done you click on save and close and then that's it okay so let's move on to the next lesson